What's up, it's Mike Jones from Primal K9. So, a uh, common question we get all the time is, you know, what separates one dog trainer from another? And, you know, the honest question to that is, you know, it just becomes dependent on the person. You know, there's very few different type of tactics within, or methods within the dog training world. It's just how that person adapts it to their own self and how they adapt it and communicate it to their clients. So this is why, you know, one method can be used through different companies, but also perceived through their client differently. It's just how they communicate it. Because sometimes, you know, people might not understand how I'm communicating to them and the trainer next to me can, you know, communicate it next to, uh, better to them. Which is why, you know, in our, I guess in, in our company, there's all these different styles that are communicating the same method, if that makes any sense. So it's all based on one foundation in our company, in Primal Canine, but all my different trainers have a different style of communication. And that goes the same throughout, you know, the whole dog training world. You know, you have your positive reinforcement, you have your balance training, you have your old school uh, you know, force trainers or shits and trainers and your sport trainers. There's tons and tons and tons of um, different styles. Um, and there's tons and tons of even more trainers who train the same different styles, but they all communicate differently. So what separates us from any other company? It's just the way we communicate it differently because we are different people. Our perception on reality is different. And therefore, the way that we're going to communicate it with you is going to be different as, uh, different as well. You know, we come from a rescue background, so we understand that dogs don't all learn the same. And, you know, treating one dog as the same as the other can be detrimental to that, to that dog. So we want to communicate it differently to each individual dog. And that's just because that's our background. Other people come from different, you know, internships or mentorships or apprenticeships through different places. And, you know, they learn differently. They might not have had the, let's say, upbringing, but, you know, they might have not have learned the same way that we've learned, which makes their perception completely different. So in my opinion, you know, it's to each his own. There's, there are bad ways of t training dogs. I mean, I, I, 100%. But for the most part, you know, if you have, you know, all the right intentions and, you know, you want to continue, continuously learn, you know, most trainers, if you can relate to them and understand with them, understand what they're saying, then, you know, they might be the good fit for you. Uh, but it just comes down to what trainer relates to you the best and how they relate to you the best. And that's, you know, that's what kind of separates each individual trainer because, you know, we can all say the same verbiage but we all might say it differently and people might perceive that differently and understand it differently and take it in differently. So it just comes down to which trainer fits you best. So going back to the question, what separates us from every other dog trainer? It's just the way that we communicate. All right, guys, so we're starting a new thing. So when you send your question in to primalcanon at gmail.com, please include a picture of you and your dog, and then we'll put it up on the video when we answer it. Thanks.